What's going on guys? Welcome back to The Forge. I'm Vulcan and today we're taking a look at Wilson. Uh, specifically the hunter slash trickster build for Wilson. And we're going to be running a couple dungeons here today just kind of showcase this spec a little bit. This is one that I kind of jumped to when I first moved into the game and um, I'm not entirely sure what drew me to it. I think it's maybe just like the traps. It's pretty cool. But the way this whole thing works, if you guys haven't watched my other video, this is your passive skill tree. And your passive skill tree starts from five different classes per se. Hunter, Legionary, Arcanist, Guardian, and Thief. So I went the Hunter path. Um, I typically don't play Hunters in games, so something different for me. You know, crossbows, bows, and all that fun stuff. Now this tree is all passives, like I said, except for a couple. Um, there's one on uh, Maleficent, which is right down here. Um, that actually gives you abilities, as you can see here, unlocks the active or the following active skill. But everything else that I've seen doesn't really give you an active skill. It's all just passive. I mean, that's why it's referred to as the passive tree. So this build mainly focuses on high crit chance and lots of attack speed and uh, your ammunition. So as you spec into Hunter, you're going to unlock something called um, impaired ammunition, which is right over here. So this is elemental ammunition. Um, you can cycle through fire, frost, or lightning, and depending obviously on what you choose, that's what you're gonna get. So fire shots will burn, frost shots will freeze, lightning shots will shock. Um, and then you also just got your regular ammunition, which is right around here somewhere. There it is, impairing shots. So you're gonna cycle through toxic, serrated, and sharp. Um, I typically run sharp just because I want the increased crit uh, damage and chance. But if you wanted to get like a double whammy action going on here, you could do uh, serrated or toxic along with maybe like fire or frost up here because you can roll both these at the same time. So the trickster class, like I said, is all about just putting out a ton and ton of damage. You might not have, you know, the most health in the world, but you do have a ton of agility. So that gives you a dodge chance. That gives you a, a chance for them to miss you. And um, it's been pretty good. So as you can see, there's some stuff that's not implemented yet. So right now I'm a level 15 in the game and I'm much more much more further along than I should be just because some of these things aren't implemented and they don't take up points. So basically I got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 uh, ability point slots for free. So um, typically around 15 you'll probably be up here. So let's take a look at my actual character, what I'm, what I'm, what I'm working with here. So I got 179 agility um, in the great category, and I'm working with a 46% crit chance with weapons, and my damage is a 97% increase. And I got a 7% uh, attack speed modifier with all of my ranged weapons. So as you can see, my health isn't that, isn't that great, but at the same time, I'm putting out so much damage that stuff should just fall over. Now my actual character himself, um, he's he's all right. He's fairly kitted out. Um, you know, we got most level 15 stuff on here. Uh, a couple couple things below, a couple rares. I'm working my way up to level 20 so I can throw on this crossbow. As you can see, I'm rocking a level nine. But the interesting thing is, if you look at this underneath magic, right here, it says superior, and it just rolled higher. I mean, I get plus 25% damage to undead enemies, plus five frost damage. Um, and then I have an offensive gym slot I can put in there uh, if I would like. But it makes for a pretty powerful, powerful weapon. But enough about that. Let's take a look at the actual spells we're rocking out here. So what I'm rolling with is Rain of Fire um, just to push people back and kind of uh, give me a little extra time if I'm in a tough spot. I got three traps that I can lay. Um, now these traps will also pull from my ammunition that I talked about earlier, which we'll go over in a second. I have Frost Nova to help root um, some enemies, and it also, if I get, do an overkill, it'll give me a Frost um, kind of flavored overkill, which can play into a few other abilities. So my elemental ammunition, which was I was talking about earlier, so four arrows, um, the first four arrows that I shoot are going to be either fire, frost, or lightning, and the next ten arrows that I shoot are going to be toxic, serrated, or sharp. And just go ahead and flip those over. Like I said, I like to go with the high crit chance. And burning's great, so I'll typically stick with that. Unless I'm in a water area. So the fun thing about this game is if you hit somebody with lightning and they're standing in water, it actually creates an AoE um, as electricity would do in real life. So there's that. 
And then my heavy hitter is Arrow Rain. And Arrow Rain, <coughs> excuse me, and Arrow Rain just creates basically an AoE that literally nukes things. As you can see, weapon damage per second is 228%, and rate of fire 6.1, time active 4 seconds. And with a 7 second cooldown, it does take 200 rage, um, which as you can see right here, I have a cap of 1000. So I can use it 5 times um, after that cooldown, but it creates a pretty, pretty powerful thing, which you guys will see here. Um, for my vials, I just have a poison vial, I have a health potion, rage, uh, stamina, two staminas, um, going for the dodge chance on all of these, so helping to uh, stay alive a little bit more. Now for those of you guys who haven't seen it, there's a daily dungeon in Wilson, and the daily dungeon is something that uh, you run through, you try to get a um, high chance, uh, or a uh, low, um, sorry, low time um, getting through it. And you don't really get anything from it other than going on the leaderboards. It just gives you something to kind of work towards, but it's all right. Yeah, so as you can see that arrow rain, um, it's not a delayed effect. The second you click the ground, wherever you would like, it will um, just start dropping in that immediate damage. So it's almost like it's just an instant cast spell with a uh, delayed AOE that hangs out afterwards. So... As you can guys see, we're just rolling through this stuff. I mean, even for a level nine crossbow, um, these are little 15s, they're just kind of falling over. This is a corpse. Um, if you spec into Maleficent, then corpses will actually uh, like keep their ailments. So if you poison it and it dies, then that'll create a AOE effect. And that stacks, so it's not like it can be only one corpse at a time. You can do as many as you would like, which is pretty great. All right, let's see. Hard leather bracer, don't need that. Got chest back here. So, these dungeons are pretty cool. New bow, nice. Um, the one thing about the bows, that they don't really have that great of a modifier that I've seen um, when comparing to crossbows. I just feel like crossbows are in a better spot, and this is probably just a balancing thing, but stuff just literally falls over. It doesn't even stand a chance when you're using a crossbow. Um, bows got implemented with the last patch, so they're most likely undertuned, and I'm curious to see what they have, you know, coming down, uh, coming down the next patch. So what we're looking for here, guys, is we're looking for any yellow um, items, which are rares. I have mostly blues, so I don't really have to worry about um, getting those, which those are magic items. So see, we got a yellow that dropped over there, which is nice. I'll go back and. See what we got. We got a tome that drops. We got a spell. Um, let's see. I'll take that. We got an axe. I'm gonna be probably switching away from this build. I've I've gone through and completed uh, most of the campaign. Well, actually, all the campaign. Uh, let me go with the lightning staff. <clears throat> and it was super fun. Um, so I'm really waiting for uh, <laughs> for what they have next. But I want to go back and try different play styles. Um, as fun as Archer is and making everything kind of fall over. Uh, I do want to experience some of the magic oriented classes and some of the two handed and the tank classes and things like that. So, one interesting thing about the trickster is you'll have arrows that'll shatter. Um, see, they start ricocheting like that. And that way it gives you a little bit of a, uh, even if you miss, you have a chance at doing some sort of damage. All right, let's go ahead and drop that. Um, <clears> the <throat> thing about these dungeons is pretty fun. You just go through, and like I said, it's a time trial. People are completing it in like 28 seconds um, that are just kind of higher up. So you're able to really, you know, run through if you have the right spec. And um, the whole point is just to get to the end, kill the last boss, and get out of there as quick as you can. That way you can uh, rock out the leaderboards. But they have this, and then they also have a bounty system where essentially you just, you run... Um, you run randomized dungeons, which is really great. There's a lot of actual, you know, uh, let me grab these greaves. There's a lot of games that don't have that feature. <clears throat> so I'm really glad they added it into this one because it gives you something to do. I mean, even being an alpha, um, you know, people want to play this game, but typical alphas, right? They hit a cap, they end, but these ones, not so much. As you can see, I'm still rocking these uh, leg armors that are the very literally very first ones I got I have not got a leg armor drop in 16 levels which is silly I'm just I'm starting to question if leg armor drops in the game uh, at this point all right 
So one interesting mechanic, and I don't know if this is hunter specific, I don't think it is. I think each class does it differently, but um, you can do a dodge roll like so, and it puts this thing on the ground and then people will walk into it. It'll give them some sort of debuff, um, like trickster, not tr yeah, trickster will, uh, will do poison, things like that. So it replaces your, oh shit. Legendary, nice, let's see what we got. Damn, it's the second legendary I've got. Ah, oh, badass too, plus 23 agility, 23 max health, 55% chance of getting 43.1 umbra points on kills, which is what I use to do my basic abilities. Minus seven damage taken from undead, corrupted, frost resistance, hell yeah. Nice. Yeah, the other, uh, the other one I got was like a uh, two-handed weapon, which is great, but like I said, I was a hunter, so it didn't really matter for me. That's badass though. I'm so stoked. All right. Well, this run's been good so far. I've ran like three or four of these and haven't got anything so far. So, uh, yeah, that was the end game boss uh, right there. Um, or not the end game, but the uh, end of the dungeon boss um, that just got wiped out. And that's the thing is like this this ability, this uh, arrow rain ability, just literally destroys people. And it's insane. It is just insane. Um, let's see. Nope, nothing there. All right, so that's the daily dungeon. So as you can see, leaderboard pops up. Um, I was at five minutes and 46 seconds. You got this person right here who did it in 28 seconds, 32 seconds. And I'm not even in the top 500. They're getting through it super quick. But they're also level 20s, so keep that in mind. All right, so we leveled up. So let's go ahead and let's get some points put out here um, we're working with let's just throw them into agility we'll put one in toughness just to say we did and then let's jump over and let's do three more points here so what do we want to go for um, let's take a look so that one's pretty decent so we want the plus 20 agility the trickster momentum's pretty good so we'll just go with those and then let's jump into a random dungeon real quick and let's uh, let's take a look so start the bounty. As you can see, this portal opens. I just gotta click on it here. And these are all randomized, so we don't know exactly what we're gonna be dealing with. Um, but we got an orc warlock. So these guys are a pain in my ass. Um, they'll, they'll teleport and do all that stuff and uh, make my life a living hell. So fire rain, spread shot, can flag. So I already have all these abilities, but the nice thing about them is you can turn them in for experience so you can then level up your own abilities. So it's always good to pick up those tomes and keep a stockpile of them. Um, that way you can get experience, you can you know boost your own abilities, and you can make sure that uh, you're still you know kind of keeping up with the level of progress um, for your character. All right, so I'm going to leave a couple traps for these guys. Arrow rain their ass. Okay, so... The next update for this game is supposed to be bringing a few other things. Oh my god, it's another legendary. Holy shit. That is awesome. God, guys, like this is this is amazing. I have like like, like I said, I literally haven't got one the entire time leveling and then start throwing this thing on and I'm getting a bunch. That's fantastic. Handforged sword. Okay, okay. Oh, that's going to be badass. I think I'm going to I think I'm gonna switch specs here coming down the pipe and uh, switched over to a guardian or maybe a two-handed like uh, uh, berserker or something all right let's see let's keep the freight train rolling guys let's see if we can see if we can keep this up we are two for two right now folks we are two for two all right say what good luck I tell you all right, so we got some raw emeralds here. So these are your sockets. So like, just for the sake of doing this, so you can take a raw emerald and you can put it like uh, in here. So it's too low of a level, um, but you throw them into like the offensive sockets. There's defensive sockets. There's support sockets. So it really, I mean, it could be anything. All right, this warlock is bad news bears. So we can get out of here. <laughs> Making a mess. All right. So okay, there's got there's the chest. I was like, there's got to be a chest around here somewhere. These ghouls are a pain in my ass. 
So four more levels. I um I just honestly I went out and bought um the uh, the level twenty pants. Just like I said, I haven't got anything, so might as well uh, give that a shot. All right, so we're on level two here, and as you can see, things are getting a little more uh, a little more the same. Um, I don't know if the levels actually crank up. So right now they're all they're right leveled, right? They're level sixteen, but. I'm not entirely sure if they will change or not. All right, so as you can see, if we got a pack of what they call bosses, I don't really consider these guys bosses. I mean, they're they're bl they're blue names, but they just get wiped out. So I think they should probably change that to um, more of yellow names up to red names, because yeah, it doesn't it doesn't make sense for them to come out and just get wiped out. We got another chest here. Nothing I need. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try switching over to a mage build as well and see if that helps with my speed run. Um, I haven't got to dabble too much with that other than the very beginning. Uh, the very beginning you choose a spell and that's that's that. But is there something over here? No, it's just a lantern. But I immediately just jumped into the crossbow build. Now you can reset your abilities too, so when I uh, when I rolled through the game, I actually was a warden, and then I figured out that you can turn your uh, <laughs> you can turn the dials on your skills, and I'll explain that here in a second. Let's see these guys fall over. There we go. So what I mean by that is up here you can select right. So like I can like select this. Okay, never mind. I have to stand near the gate to rotate the rings. I wonder if they changed that because I was doing that the other day. Oh shit, skull crusher. So these guys are super nasty because they're just, yeah, they're just not fun. But uh, they'll charge, they'll do all that stuff, and they can really, really make a mess. So, okay, got a grave digger here. They all, I notice they always pair grave diggers at the end. I'm not entirely sure why. If it's just the sheer fact that they create um, additional enemies that you know are gonna overwhelm you or what, but not entirely, uh, not entirely sold by it. All right, let's keep the dream alive here. Level three, level three. Hopefully we can get some more legendaries, guys. That's been super good so far. I'm amped up. Um, I think, you know, what I'm really looking for is a legendary crossbow. If I can snag one, that would just be ideal as hell. But, you know, beggars can't be choosers at this point. Come on now, there we go. So those are my traps, by the way, those like little circles on the ground. Um, when you first beckon to Hunter, you're only gonna be able to place them underneath your feet. But as you move further into uh, the Hunter category, you're gonna be able to place them whenever you want. So I'll show you guys on the next mob here. So I can place it like right there underneath him. And I aggroed him, but if he had just been standing there, he would've got hit by my spike trap and it would've been, it would've been good. It just snares him. It's not like uh, it does a ton of damage, but you know, as a hunter, you want people to be snared so you can obviously throw more damage out, things like that. Okay, I can take, take that guy out. So, you know, kind of going through this game, um, there were some like optimization things that were going on that, I mean, I think it's fine, but early on, um, it was weird. I was playing on very high at 60 frames and it was like perfectly fine. And then I got to maybe halfway point through the game and I don't know if I just hit a portion that wasn't as optimized, but it was one of those things where um, I wouldn't run at 60 frames anymore. I wouldn't even run at 40. It just like, I hit a brick optimization wall per se, and my computer just started tanking. So I had to drop it down to medium. And then I was like, okay, yeah, that's cool. You know, we're at, we're at, uh, we're at 80, we're at 80%. We're back at, you know, a decent, a decent frame rate, so on and so forth. But then after that, it started tanking again, and so I dropped it again to another another one, and now I'm playing on low and performance mode, and um, it's going good. I mean, for the most part, I think, but it's just one of those things where it didn't really make sense. And I know that stuff's probably gonna get you know ironed out as time moves on, but in the meantime, it's just strange that I haven't. Uh, I don't know, just going from high, everything running on high at 60 frames to like, not. All right, so we're in the spider kingdom here. 
Good times. Grab that. So we're level four guys. I'll probably do this one. I'll probably do one more and that'll give you guys a good taste of what, you know, what the trickster is good at, what the trickster needs help on. And, um, honestly, this has been a super fun class. Like I said, I don't typically play, uh, uh, like ranger classes. I'm almost always the tank or the healer, to be honest with you guys. And, um, so it's, it was a nice change of pace for sure. And it's nice to actually be able to do like a ton of damage too, instead of always having a, you know, as a healer, you don't do a ton as a tank, you don't do a ton. Um, you can survive a bunch of stuff, but you know, so it's nice to be able to actually do that. Get in there, just melt people, just, just make a mess. And yeah. All right. That guy's done, 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 done. Okay. All right, let's head out over here. Let's see what we're working with. All right, so we found the boss. Okay, so it's a ghoul. So ghouls are nasty, nasty when it comes to, uh, well, really anything. They're just kind of a pain in the ass because they burrow. And so you almost have to lay two traps, right? So what he's gonna do is he's gonna burrow, or he's just gonna run around in a circle. Come on now, there, see, there's the burrow. So you kinda gotta lead him into traps. There it is. All right. Where's the grave digger? I know there's a grave digger around here. Gotta be somewhere. Always, it. there's always one. If there's one thing I know. So as you can see, he had that thing had a lightning protection. So I was doing significantly less damage. There's my chest. Come on. Okay, alchemist sash. That'll do, I guess. That'll do. All right. Um, equipped push. Okay. Okay. Not entirely sold on that. Yeah. Not entirely sold on that bow either. What are we What are we working with here? Ooh, 196 for defense. We don't necessarily need it. Nope. Sorry guys, just doing a little spring cleaning. Oh, pants. Guys, I finally got, I finally got pants. Holy shit, I did it. Oh my goodness. That, uh, wow, that, that made my day. What a, what a great run. All right, let's get rid of some of this. Don't necessarily need all that. Uh -huh. Oh, what we got here? E yes, just for the sheer whatever. So the one thing they don't have in the game yet is auto sort. So I have to go through and sort things myself, um, which is fine. Just, you know, it is what it is. We'll do that and confirm. Okay, neato. We got three more points because we leveled up, as you well know. Um, I'm going to see what we got. What's, what are we working at? Let's see, uh, what do we want to do? So I can get up here into the assassin tree and presence, presence. I'm not entirely sure what presence is. I think it's the, uh, I know what it is. It's down here, I believe. Yeah, I'm not gonna mess with that. What I am gonna mess with though is some of this stuff. Um, yes. Yes, and yes. I cannot do that one yet. That's strange, oh, there we go. I was like, what? All right, confirm, out. All right, on to the fifth level, the fifth, the fifth depths of the dungeon here. Let's roll through this stuff. All right, guys, we're, uh, we're shopping for legendaries. Oh my god, they all just drop books. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Every single one of them dropped the tome. That is <laughs> that is dope. All right, let's drop this. Okay, we got some bosses over here. I'll go back for those tomes. I just want to take care of this butcher, I guess. Okay, his ass is gone. Thanks for coming. Yeah, 
right, that's crazy. All right, so let's go ahead. Disruption, seismic rift. Do I have seismic rift yet? Yeah, I already know it. I forget some of the melee spells just because I'm not a melee focused build. Um, okay, Ice Crusher. See ya. So that was just straight base ability. Um, nothing else, nothing nothing fancy. Um, maybe this crossbow will be nice, let's see. It's level 17. So as you can see, so here's the deal that, you know, the arrow rain bases off of your weapon damage, right? And so my weapon damage on this level nine, because it's a superior item, is 45 to 83, this one's 39 to 72, so I'm losing out on 11 damage. Um, I do have a 64% chance to do whatever, but this one just rolled so well, the one I have equipped, I mean, plus 25% damage done to undead. I mean, that's unreal. I don't think I have that on any of my other, my other abilities or other uh, items. So it just makes me a, just a goddamn zombie killing machine, just eating them up. All right, go this way. So the thing about these dungeons that the developers did, bastards, they, uh, <laughs> they'll make dead ends. So you're like running around trying to do your own thing, having a good time. And next thing you know, all right, so uh, next thing you know, you'd spend all this time like going these different directions and it's the wrong way and so on and so forth. All right, so I'm gonna use my poison vial and my rage vial here. Okay, miss, nice. But not gonna matter. Night, night. Night, night. Uh, yeah, nothing there, guys. That's hard times. We'll do one more. We'll do one. We'll do one more. Lucky, lucky dungeon six. We'll do that. All right. That last one was pretty quick, so we just rolled through it. Snared, toast. And <clears throat> this game does have a, like, I don't know if you guys have watched the other video, just an overview, but this game does have a sweet loot system to it. Um, it's very Diablo 2 esque. I mean, yes, you have a chance of getting legendaries from random mobs like we have been, but you also have a decent chance of getting a good reward from a tough enemy. Now, I wouldn't necessarily consider any of the enemies we've played so far tough. Um, and that might just be because of the spec, it might be because they're undertuned. Um, I'm not entirely sure. Oh, that is a new tome, though. That is a new tome. Gaze. So it's a powerful beam from your hands, inflicting heavy umbral damage. Let's give that one a shot, guys. Let's. Uh, I haven't. I haven't tried this one out. So let's. Uh, let's replace this with rain of fire. Yeah. Let's give that a shot. Let's see what we got. Okay. So you just hold it. Okay. If I had more willpower, that probably would do a ton of damage, but as you can see, it's 25 compared to 272. So I'm gonna hang on to it. Um, it's probably gonna be a pretty dope spell when I switch over to being a mage, but not today. Not today and not right now. So this is something that's been happening, um, which is kind of a pain in the ass, but you'll like lock up like this and you have to kind of just wait and dodge and try to survive it happened to me a couple times during the campaign very 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 rarely but it's almost like your character just loses like input um and i mean keep in mind guys this is an alpha game right so that type of stuff is going to happen but at the same time um i really hope uh wilson studios gets that patched out because it's a little frustrating you know you're you're doing stuff you're uh you know farming legendaries doing this hard ultra mode uh you know dungeons and Next thing you know, you get stuck in some, some molasses or something and you just die. It's not good. Alright. Oh, got reinforcements coming from the back. Come on, legendaries. Come on, legendaries. Drop for me. Dang it. It's these dead ends, man. I'm telling you. We zigged when we should have zagged. That's the issue. 
you guys might see me running past these rings and stuff and um, I'm pretty content with the ones that I have right now so not paying those ones no mind all right gather some of these guys up oh nice nice exciting times I'm stuck see this is what I'm talking about I died I died. I died because of that. That's what I'm talking about. Some of that stuff that happens, guys. I mean, it's the way of the game. See, I it's so it's it seems to be when I dodge, there's a like a delay, like it gets stuck. So it seems to be tied to that because I just re revived out of that portal and I clicked, and the first thing I did was roll. So I bet, I bet that's exactly what it is. It just gets stuck. Well, that's not fun. No bueno. So I guess while we're here, guys, I'll just show you this real quick. So here's how you like kind of level up all your stuff, right? So I have 393k. I need 5k to level up Arrow Rain, and now I need an additional 51k to level it up from empty to full. Um, and see, I hit level 15, right? So this little plus sign shows up, and now this little plus sign shows up. I go out here, click on my good old fashioned Arrow Rain. And uh, I don't have anything per se, but I can switch back and forth between these modifiers. So I can reduce the skill cost, um, or I can make it have a wider edge effect, which doesn't really matter to me because stuff just dies. Uh, Air rain lasts longer, which doesn't really matter. I want straight up damage. So the next one, as you can see, should have been right here, but I mean, it's alpha, so nothing's there. If I look at some of the other ones, like Blade Slinger, for instance, is fully kitted out. This one has two, this one has two. Iceland, or Frostlands has some that are in here. Uh, we got our Umbral Blast, which does have one. Um, pretty cool, this one. This one only has a few. So, you know, as you kind of go through and you learn these type of things, it's pretty cool just to make different different specs, different abilities, and different, uh, different kind of kits. But I think this was a pretty successful run, guys. I mean, we had that pretty unfortunate, um, untimely demise that happened there towards the end where we shouldn't have, I mean, that shouldn't have happened. But it is what it is, and it's okay because we got a couple legendaries out of it. We got this sick-ass hood. Um, I'm going to go throw some skill gems in these real quick. You guys want to stick around? All right, so we got defensive, and we got def toxic resistance, plus five to willpower, and here's the other one I got, that Nailed Cudgel. Um, pretty good. I uh, haven't got to use it, but I like it. Level 7. So plus 10 to Toughness, Ferocity, Umbral Resistance, Toughness, Defense just overall. And this Mage Hood is more for Agility, so it's more for mine, which is kind of interesting. So I think what I'm going to do is let's just do straight up, like, Defense. We'll do toughness so we'll do that so we'll throw that in that one and then hand forged sword guys okay so is this a two-hander or a one-hander it looks to be a one-hander with some really kind of cool artwork here um, why maybe that's just a thing that came with it huh either way pretty dope I like it so since it's one-handed we can go for a few different things we could go for this little effect here um, and do a little two-hander we could go the sword and the shield either way I think these are two offensive pieces so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spec for just straight up damage and uh, protection piercing is good and that raw barrel um, but yeah I don't know guys let's see it's shadow damage umbra damage uh, stealing health points, upper damage, fire damage. I think fire might be good if I want to do a fire build. Frost damage. I right, only have a few diamonds. Uh, Silverstone is sacred damage. I almost have none of those. That's crazy. You know what, guys? I think I'm just gonna go for fire damage. I'm make a like, let's make like a little fire build here. I think that'll be good. So, bump the fire damage, and let's put these away. Uh, let's see, Ch -ch -ch thorns. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll put that one away. Hang on to this guy, and hang on to that guy. That guy. Actually, give me this staff. 
that's it guys that is it so that wraps up this video folks um hope you guys enjoyed the uh trickster gameplay hope you guys enjoyed watching me uh basically just get eaten alive by those ants where the hell those things were um i couldn't move that was pretty unfortunate but you know this game's pretty pretty fun i really enjoy it um it's fun to just run around look for stuff um i think it does a lot of things right um next few videos are going to be a you know point of view from different specs different classes different um really just kind of setups things like that so in the comment section below drop a drop a note on you know what you guys think about the content what you guys think about the random dungeon system is the trickster something you're interested in do you guys think the game is undertuned overtuned um really just any sort of uh comments you guys have or feedback i'm super super uh invested in this one so if you guys want to see some more wilson content go ahead and hit that subscribe button and uh get ready for a just deluge of content all right, guys. Thanks. This has been Vulcan, and I am out of here.